Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment and I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and please be a witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that, I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have any courses to sell, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. Everything I do create, I post it completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case in most of the videos on YouTube, right? Including the entertainment ones you like to watch. I don't create entertainment videos. I create some value that will help you in your career. It's your decision. I'll let you decide and I respect your decision as always. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. If this video helped you out, if it didn't, just drop me a comment as I said, I will be happy to help you out. And here I am again with, back with another requested video, which is how to make the header icons bold on your Shopify store and bold actually all the icons or just one of them. So if you want to make the cart icon bold only, this video will help you out. And if you want to make the login icon only, make it as bold, this video will help you out as well. If you want to make both of them bold, this video will help you out as well. So no worries. And we will do that again by using the same code. You just have to customize it a little bit to make it work either one of them or both of them. Actually, just adding a word, not really customizing. But I will show you how to do that, no worries. Without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this Shopify store, this is Shopify dashboard in here. And they have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every code I do share, every tutorial, I do demonstration on the video on down team. Because it's the most requested one and also is the most used one. But if I scroll down in here and click on show all, show all, I have every other free Shopify teams, the most used ones again, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try each of my codes on all of these teams in here. So even if you're not using down team, uh, using one of these should work for you just fine. And I do try the codes behind the scenes, so I don't bore people in the video, because it's gonna be like 30 minute video if I try them and all. So I only do demonstration on down team. And I just have to say this in the beginning, so I give you that peace of mind, because you're gonna see me doing it on down team, and you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. And here is your peace of mind. And without the way, Let's just get to it and show you how to make the header icons bold on your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So every little thing that you see in the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. Literally everything. So if you saw anything in the Shopify store that you liked and you think it looks good, you want to implement it as well on your Shopify store, then just check out the channel. Because once it's here, that means that that was already done in one of my previous videos. Because I don't remove the changes from him. I keep them so people can see them and if they like it, they can implement it. Make sure to check out the channel if you liked anything on the Shopify store. But what I'm talking about here is these ones right here. It will be for you, maybe if you are not subscribers, it's gonna be another one which is search icon. I did a video on how to remove search icon and show search bar instead. If you are interested, make sure to check out channel. If you don't, I will show you how to make it bold as well. No worries, no worries. I got you as I said. So as I said, if you want to only to make the login icon bold, I will show you how to do that or make only the account icon bold. I will show you how to do that or make both of them bold. I will show you how to do that. So obviously we're going to keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So simply get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are on Shopify dashboard, click on online store, teams, and click on the three dots on left of customize, then click on edit code. And it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file. And instead of looking at the folders like this, you might get dizzy. Use the search bar at the top left corner and type in, again, I have to repeat this again for the million times. It's gonna be either base.css, or team.css or style.css and some rare custom made teams gonna be custom.css but they mostly use uh, base.css or cheap.css or style.css in my case I know it's base so type in base here it is base.css click on it after that scroll all the way down let me drag this is huge file here we go uh, then after in the bottom of the file we need to create a new space to paste in some code there is no space in here to create that space Click front of the last thing 
in here, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new line to paste in our code. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this very short code in here. As you can see, this code will do the trick for us. And this is actually, you can edit how bold you want. So in my case, it's 0.5. Obviously, the higher you go when it comes to this number, 0.5, the more bold it's gonna be, or the lesser the number is, the lesser it's gonna be. I mean, bold it's gonna be. So that's very simple. I'm going to select the whole thing. Make sure to select the closing bracket as well. Right click, copy. I will get back in here, paste it at the bottom of the file. I will click on save, wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, we're good to go. Let's just reload the page. And here it is. I think you can notice it looks bold. Let me, let me, let me edit. This, let's just do 0 0.9. Yeah, let's just do 0 0.9. Okay, we'll get back in here. Here it is. As you can see, it's much bolder now, as you can see. It looks stronger. <laughs> so, what if you want to do the trick only on one of them? Let's just start with card. If you want to implement the changes only on the card icon, let's just get back in here. That's really simple. Let me zoom in on it. So, you see the first line in here, it says, uh, dot header and icon front of icon click front of icon without any space then type in dash two times the first one then the second one then type in card it's really simple card that was simple click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds we go to go let's just get back reload the page and ta -da, check it out now the changes only apply to the card icon Okay, what if you want it only on the login icon? Easy, get back in here. You see when with the, where we did type in card? Remove card and type in account. With the, uh, keep the two dashes. Now we will click on save button. Wait for a couple of seconds, save it. We'll get back in here, reload the page. And ta-da, as you can see, now only the login icon that's bold. What if you want, you don't, you're not interested in my search bar, you're not, you're not interested in, <laughs> what if you're not interested in my search bar and you want to do that for the icon? Easy, get back in here, remove icon and type in search. If that's not really, really easy, I don't know what it is. And that's how you make the header icons bold on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.